It's time for women's soccer. Howard takes on Suffolk. The Dragons enter the match ranked number three in the national poll. After a three and two start, Howard has been flat out dominant. The Dragons are riding a four game win streak and have allowed just one goal in September. Howard is undefeated against Division III programs dating back to 2012. The Dragons are 12-0-4 against D3 opponents over the last two seasons. Suffolk is one of the four teams to play Howard to a draw. The Sharks enter the game with a 2-1-1 record. Suffolk is looking to get back on track offensively. After scoring 14 goals in their first two games, the Sharks have struggled to find the back of the net. Howard and Suffolk take the field next. Let's go to the Dragons' lair. Early on, here's a chance for Suffolk. Maria Raimonde has a little room at the edge of the box. Raimonde! Darcy Bazzioni with the save. Throw in for the Dragons. Jen Craven goes and gets it and connects with Lisa Bianchini inside the 18th. Bianchini finishes high. The All-American is showing some skill, really influencing the game. 29th minute, Divina St. Peter, another returner from last year's region champion team. St. Peter. Bianchini. Bianchini says, there you go, have some of that. Lisa Bianchini can do no wrong at this moment. Howard in control. Second half, we're in the 51st minute. The goal kick goes right to St. Peter and she makes the goalkeeper pay. 30 yard strike from the sophomore out of Laurel High School. Abigail Vallone over the top towards Alexis Rubenstein. Liz Parks beats her to the ball and wins it for Howard. Parks. Bianchini takes a look at her options, picks out the run of Rebecca Coglin. Excellent ball. Two Suffolk defenders strip it away. Craven breaks up the clear. Kanifa Mullings with a touch. Aresiki Romero finally clears it up for Suffolk. Bianchini. Through ball to Coglin. Coglin is in, but the shot is off the mark. Megan Jackson sends it in the direction of Craven. Poor touch from the Sharks back. Craven jumps on the loose ball. Craven! We're witnessing something special here in Columbia, Maryland. A team reaching their potential, marching towards the postseason with volition. Bianchini takes the corner for Howard. Good high ball and it finds the back of the net. Another dominant performance from Coach Seagroves' Dragons. Let's send it down to Matt Stovall. Kanifa, you were our analyst last year. What's your analysis after this match? Um, I feel like we played a very hard game. Um, our coaches definitely had us playing a, a drop back and disperse kind of game, and it kind of worked. Actually, it worked very well. So what about Suffolk made this a good matchup for your team? Um, I don't think they were as skilled as we were. I mean, we've, we've done a lot of work on uh, playing defeat and getting the ball like exactly where it needs to be and finishing, and we did that and took them like we had them against the ropes. So. One of the reasons why was Lisa Bianchini with her hat trick. Lisa, how did it feel getting that hat trick out there today? Um, it felt really good. Um, I think it was much needed, um, especially after our slow start. I was just trying to get the team pumped up, and it worked. So it seems like you're on that offensive tear of late. But what's going right right now? I don't know. I mean, I finally think it's just clicking. We're switching the field. We're playing defeat. I finally, everyone's just getting in. The scoring's very dispersed, so I think that's a great thing. Tremendous team win, ladies. Thank you. For Dragons Lair Update, I'm Matt Stovall.